Hey guys, welcome to the third part in our Power Grid Power User Series, a tutorial series for Power Grid users that want to push beyond the Power Grid editor and add extra functions to their buttons and grids. It's recommended that you watch the other videos in the series to get you up to speed before attempting this tutorial. If you're new to grid editing, have a look at this video. It covers the basics. This week we're going to have a look at two things. First of all, we're going to have a look at the files that you need to package together to export your custom plugin grid. Then, we're going to show you how to upload your creations to the Power Grid store for others to enjoy, rate, and download. Here we see the files we need in the Rocket plugin folder. We're going to use the toggle plugin grid that we used last time as our example. If you want to share this grid or export it or save it somewhere, we need to zip all these files and turn it into a .rpgp file which stands for Rocket Power Grid Package. But first, let's have a quick peek into the files so you can have a quick overview of why each file needs to be included. Of course, you're going to need all the graphics that you've created for each control, as well as any sound effects that you may want to include. They're all in this folder. Next, you're going to need the info.json file. This is the file the Power Grid website needs to know the details of the grid, who made it, the name, etc. The MetaJSON also defines the icon that is used. More on uploading grids later on in this video. The plugin.json is the file that tells PowerGrid where to find its graphics, sounds, and also defines their parameters. Last tutorial, you might remember us switching out the graphics for our control here. Toggle.controlset.json. This is where the controls are named so they can be listed in the PowerGrid editor. We renamed our control here last time from red switch to switch one. Toggle.grids.json is how the grid is laid out and each control's location. And lastly, the toggle QS. This is the JavaScript file that contains all of our functions and macros. You might remember last time we pasted our macro codes in here. So now that we have everything we need, we just need to package the files. We simply select all our files and right click send to a zip file. Now that we have our zipped package, we can rename the file to the name of our grid and rename the file extension .rpgp file. As soon as you push enter, you'll see the icon change. That means that we can now import it into PowerGrid and test it and upload it. Uploading your files to PowerGrid is really great because this way other community members can find your grids, they can rate them, you can share them. This way you can store your grids so you can point people to them and they can download them as well. So first off, you need to go to the Power Grid website, log in with your Rocket account, click Share, select the upload type, in this case it's a plugin. Then we select the .rpgp package. This takes us to the upload details screen. This way we can define which version of the grid it is, the upload date, which language the grid is in, then we can pick the category of what kind of game or application the grid is made for, the name of the package, the author, the email address. Here you can attach a screenshot of your grid. That way when people are browsing the store, they can see what your grid looks like before they download it. And here you can select a store icon. The icon you can use could simply just be the icon that you use in the grid. This icon is the icon that appears in the tab bar, which should be in your resource folder. You can also download a PSD template here to create your own grid. If you want the default dimensions, they are 160 by 160 pixels. We've had giveaways in the past rewarding people's efforts for people that upload grids to the site. So make sure you label it well, you attach a screenshot, and spread the word. That way we can see what amazing work that you guys are doing, and other users can comment, rate, and share your grid. If you have any questions about making grids, feel free to leave them in the comments section of these tutorial videos. You can also ask for help in the PowerGrid forums. Thanks for watching.